stand up. You shouldn't let your passion turn into something that's hateful and violent. I know it's the police and I know it's the protesters and you know they're just going back and forth, back and forth. I mean, you just can feel the energy and the energy was just like full of hate. People were just yelling at the police, spitting in their face, which was kind of disgusting, but um, okay, it's their world. But the point where I'm trying to bring is, bring some goodwill into something that you're passionate about. Here you go. Um, I, I would definitely agree. I think at a certain point, standing up, as helpful as I think you should always stand up if you believe in it, but if you get too passionate, you can even lose sight of what's actually important for you. Like, I'm sure that whoever spit in the other person's face, like, that's not what they came out there to do. And I saw earlier today there was a lady and there was a there was one guy preaching about the Bible and then this other lady just started yelling at him. And both of them were going back and forth. Nobody was listening to each other. And I was I was thinking, yeah, it's great that these these two people are trying to get their messages across, but if you're going out there without the mindset that you can listen and you could possibly change your mind if somebody says something compelling enough, I think you might actually be hurting the situation. I definitely hear what both of y'all are saying, and I think looking at you know, Public Square, for example, right? This is a, an exchange where you know folks are, are meeting, and I think there's a lot of, of different motivations, right? Like, but more often than not, people come out, especially folks with lots of passion, folks who want to protest, folks who are here because they really are believers and are very active in, in their political parties, you know, because they want to be heard. And I think that that's a, a reality for most of us. We want to be heard. And I think that this is, you know, when we start looking at how we stand up and also how, you know, we sit down or oftentimes in organizing, it'll be talked about to either step up or step back, you know, to be able to make sure that we're going into, you know, a public square to debate ideas. In order to debate, we have to listen. Earlier today, I was invited to, to speak on a panel at Cleveland Public Library. And I could see you know, no greater example of what a robust public sector provides than, than looking at that amazing library and all the great community programming that comes through that. Great community programming that you know, goes to fund you know, you know, public radio, PBS, and other things that you know, we can talk about. Also, you know, public funds that go to fund all the police officers that are here um, as well. But it, there's, there's just a, you know, that to me is a big issue that when we look at core core debate that we're going to continue to have back and forth, it's, it's, it's how we do that and how we manage that. So. Rarely does standing up result in anything good. For the references that both of you guys said, when you look at Public Square, we were <laughs> watching, unfortunately, law and order prevailed. The temperatures were so hot as they were standing up there. Really, if, if the police had left, something bad would have happened. There's no getting around it. There's a little, very little communication, no listening, no opportunity to move the dial on either side's ability to understand where the other side's coming from. Mm -hmm. So it, it's not an absolute that you never stand up. You know, the Berlin Wall falling is a great example of <laughs> stand up. But otherwise, why did Lizzie organize this this way? Lizzie and Meg. <laughs> Lizzie and Meg. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> organize this this way. The open dialogue, we are not outside, in the sun, standing up, looking at each other. We're sitting down. So the metaphor goes a long ways. It goes a long ways. <laughs>